To use a cell library, it's important to associate it with uh, simplicity when you start a new drawing. Uh, and we're going to draw in MicroStation again. So we run Simplicity, and we create a new drawing. And when you, when you create a new drawing, which we will call uh, Topo uh, Cell, we're going to name it that um, in order to identify it as one involving a cell library. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, we're going to use the Seed 3D DGN, but we will specify a cell library here, which will then remain associated with this DGN. So we go to Browse, and we have um, in the C directory under MicroStation DGN a cell library, which we will select and then hit OK. This launches MicroStation and we have no points associated with our file yet and we'll go ahead and import the same uh, coordinate file as before that we've used in the series of videos and we will import points um, and we'll do all points except uh, 1 through 20 and import then specify the file which will be in C Carlson Projects and we have a file called Mantopo CRD which we will bring in and they're imported and we can go and verify that under points point manager and there we see them. Now let's uh, begin to plot a few of them uh, using uh, the cell library. So we'll go ahead and select, how about just the first three here. We'll go to the point plot and they're going to plot in a default way. So let's plot a few more with uh, a different configuration. To do that we go to config and slide out and down to point configuration. And here we can uh, specify our symbol. So rather than SPT0, which is the little dot, we'll select the symbol. And now, because we have a cell library specified, we can select cell. And then these are the cells that come from that cell library and we can investigate what's here and this looks like an interesting one so we'll use this uh, benchmark style symbol and select it and uh, go and use that now going back to the point manager we'll plot a few additional points so we'll select uh, 24 25 and 26 and do a point plot of these with the cell library active and those were uh, very large cells and uh, just to show you how you can going forward make a change go to config and uh, go to point configuration and with that particular symbol we're going to have to scale the symbol size way down to 0 0.01 to a tenth of what it was but otherwise, we will uh, try the same um, size for the um, point labeling and point offset. And then we'll plot um, a different range of points. We'll go to points, point manager, and we'll try 30, 31, 32, and uh, point plot these. And you can see now our, our symbol is more to our liking to a scale that works. So there's a, a, a bit of um, illustration of how you might use a cell library. You need to be aware of the uh, symbol scaling in that library and then uh, you can set your configuration to use that library effectively.